into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports, nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. You shouldn't see me as an adversary. I don't trust you, Waller. You or your agency. Well, you're gonna have to start. If I cared to reveal your identity, it'd be on every news channel by now. You need to trust me, Batman. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge, or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. Bruce Wayne is my cover. There's a reason I keep my identity a secret. The wrong person finds out, it's all over. I hear you loud and clear. But it didn't stop Bruce Wayne from dealing with a thug like Maury. In public. What the hell? Oh. Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech company on the west side is under siege. Shut it. You got what you came for. You don't need me. Oh, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. Or keep running your mouth and maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. Maybe? The really big one, he, 
He made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right. I'll make it one more round. Hurry it up. yourself. But you can call me Bane. <laughs> a man cannot win a war alone. You fight well, but you fight alone, you will die alone. <laughs> See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead. You got Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. And there, even the fiercest of men were often subdued. Or driven mad by brutal hours of cold, dark desolation. Save your strength, man. This one is mine. Pain you're feeling, Batman. Telling you you're still alive. Did you get him? There is nothing to fear, my friend. 
Keep your eyes open. Don't let anyone follow you to the warehouse. Don't worry, we'll take the back way by the docks. Safe travels, my friends. Batman! <laughs> Batman! Say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... <clears throat> Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman, we're gonna need you to help us push this thing off you. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ. Come on! The mechanic. Where is he? He didn't make it. Damn it. He saved my life. Batman? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs. Said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Tell them to be careful, Jim. Don't let them take any unnecessary risks. These men are dangerous. Montoya. Update the APB information, and remind all units to proceed with extreme caution. Don't need anyone else playing hero tonight. Yes, sir. Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me? We're nothing like her. We're men of principle, who still believe in the letter of the law. I will always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave, see if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. What happened? Oh, I was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Agent Avesta, you should be resting. There will be time for that later. I wanted to thank you properly for saving my life. I wouldn't be here without you. I'm 
sorry I wasn't able to rescue your partner. I know you did everything you could have to save Blake. I hope you know that too. I know you called Gordon because you have history, but this is exactly what the Director and her resources are here for. Working with Waller will be the fastest way to stop these murderers before anyone else gets hurt. Consider that. You should go take care of yourself. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I'm so sorry to put you through that, Al. You'll just do it again tomorrow? We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. We... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. Alfred, we will get through this. You know that, right? This storm will pass. Yes, I, I know that, Bruce, and I'm sorry for not being my resolute self. It's just this bane is terrifying. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller was right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good. Thanks, Al. Huh. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight, all at the same time. Let's bring him up, get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, genetic research facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they'd want that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. 
Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric. Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. I know you told Waller you were reluctant to risk Bruce Wayne's cover. But I'm more worried about the risk to Batman, given your current condition. 
Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. You're right. John's my ticket in. If I play my cards right, John might tell me most of what I want to know. Uh, well, the less you have to mingle with his friends, the better I'll feel about all this. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. They'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Bruce Wayne has influence, an endless bank account, and as of last year, questionable integrity. Everything a criminal network looks for in a new recruit. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. <laughs> <laughs> 